seek recognition. The John woman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, I rise today to speak on the importance of college affordability. This is very personal for me. Growing up, my parents, parents struggled financially, but with student loans and financial aid, I was able to go to college and get a great education. I would not be standing in this chamber today otherwise. I am pleased that we will be voting on a bipartisan bill this week that will reverse the doubling of student loan rates that took place on July 1st. The bill is a compromise, so it's not perfect. It doesn't include all the protections that I believe our students need, like lower interest rate caps to keep costs down over the long term. But it does reduce interest rates for over 7 million undergraduates taking out a loan this year. And it will save a college student with Stafford loans $3,300 compared to today's rates. This bill is a start, but it isn't enough. I call on my colleagues to continue working together on ways to bring down the cost of college for working families. Doing so will expand opportunity for all, spur long-term economic growth, and strengthen our middle class. I yield back. The gentlewoman's time has expired. For what purpose is the gentlewoman